Hey everybody, welcome back. Early in the morning here, we've got my GoPro Hero 9 with the media mod attached. First time using that, that's going to be pretty cool. Got my shades, Mickey shades of course. Two additional batteries and also my camera bag. Because we're hitting the road and we're going on the ultimate Lego shopping adventure excursion road trip thingamabobber today. And I'm pretty excited. Alright! Woohoo! First stop in the morning, McDonald's. Get myself a large coffee. On the way to Calgary. Look at that beard or goatee. And look at that sunrise. <laughs> They're both looking fresh, eh? <laughs> There's a beautiful shot of the old Queen Elizabeth Highway. The QE2. So you made a uh, quick stop in Red Deer which is a halfway point and I now realize we're one year into uh, a pandemic and Brixie forgets his mask don't have my mask I had like my fancy Lego mask that Jose got me for for my birthday and everything the thing was sick so comfortable looks awesome it's a Lego bricks on the outside and I forgot it uh, stuck behind this guy right here, holding up the traffic show here. I forgot my mask, so I'm wearing Kevin's underwear here now. <laughs> Perfect fit. <laughs> oh my gosh. 9 a.m. now. Looks like we're about an hour out of Calgary. The brick bin, that's the uh, Lego store that we're going to go to. Wow. We're going to go to lots of Lego stores. There's no open until 11, so we're going to have about an hour to kill, about 50 minutes or so. And uh, just by the brick bin, look at all these RVs over here. A bunch of RVs. Chill them. Hey, there's Walter White. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Made you look. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a cow... There's a Calgary, no, there's a Walmart uh, just by the brick bin, so we're gonna stop there first. See if we can find any dealios at the, uh, the Walmart, just by the uh, Calgary airport. I'm really excited to check out this brick bin place. I'm actually gonna make a, a separate video for Brixie YouTube channel, just reviewing the brick bin on its own, because there's gonna be a lot to look at. And that'll be, uh, that'll be pretty awesome. Hopefully we can find some cool retired Lego sets. So look at it right here, Discovery Wildlife Park. And then right here, beside it, there's a big old smokestack. Perfect. So Alberta does it. You know, we got a wildlife park and then there's a little slop and oil refinery right beside it. I've got a good feeling about this Walmart because it's blue. I didn't really see blue and yellow Walmarts first glance I thought it was an Ikea. With the uh, quick tie of the ear loops, I disguised Kevin's underwear to being a nicely tit titted? Titted? <laughs> Fitted mask. Oh it's my now God. Kevin's bra. It's now Kevin's bra. <laughs> it's a perfect fit though. It actually is like, it's huge. It feels good. You want this slow cooker? It's got, uh, oh, it's a rice cooker. Have you seen that you can make gigantic pancakes in rice cookers? No. Yeah, man. Look at this waffle maker. You can make gigantic waffles in waffle maker. So we had a more detailed look at the Lego Isle in the Brixie video, but Kevin was thinking about changing all of his Lego. We're trading it all in and starting a massive collection of these letter mats here. He's going to do the whole ground of his basement with these here. And then he's going to build uh, giant cities uh, using these pieces here. Uh, not bad, 100 pieces there uh, for 1997. Great PPP for the foam blocks. It's looking good. Great choice, Kevin. Seven. You can actually get these mini blocks here too, and uh, those, too those will pair up with this uh, quite beautifully. It'll be a nice accent piece to your uh, to your room there. Johnny Goose Rose, uh, game worn jersey. Game worn jersey. The actual oh. size. Wow, nice. Yeah, comes with three tiers on it. There we go. That's more like it. Kevin, I'll buy you this tracksuit. Won't wear it. You won't wear it? <laughs> that would be a scene, a scene to remember. Johnny Good Girls hockey underwear. So now we're sitting here in this uh, brick bin store here in Calgary. There's some amazing stuff. 
the orange Porsche. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, the B wing. <laughs> and I got the worst guy right here. He's like, he's like my personal salesman. His name's Kevin. Man, I don't know why you just don't buy me everything. Buy you everything? Yeah. Okay. So now we're heading to uh, Boogie's, which is a burger restaurant in uh, Calgary here. The best burger restaurant. Yeah. There's bun, meat, more meat, hot dog meat. Side of meat. Side of meat. Bun on top some more meat and hopefully a pint because we just overdid it and I need a pint because that was just nuts the brick bin we didn't overdo it though no. we didn't we came out square we came we, out really good on we it. came out square like I don't think I'm even gonna reveal how square we came out I am. are you no, no? <laughs> yeah eventually well one thing I do know is when we leave boogies I'm gonna come out round <laughs> Rounder. Rounder. <laughs> I guess at Boogie's they're uh, giving away free chairs too. So uh, Kevin thinks I'm gonna buy him a burger. Yep. But a the large burger. A large burger. Yep. But the brick bin already took all my money. Yep. But here cool. it is. Boogies. <laughs> Boogie's burgers. Right here. This is the place to go in Calgary. It's the Bunset Strip. I uh, like the uh, look of this can here. This is the uh, Wild Rose Brewery, Electric Avenue, Alberta Blondie, and branded with character. Look at that guy. Perfect. Look at that. Surface tension foam. The fries have arrived. This is. The Jeb Burger. Check it out. Bacon, hamburger, hot dog, cheese, meat on meat on meat on meat. Oh, it's looking good. Look at that. You got a Jeb there and you got a Jeb here. A couple of Jebs. A couple of Jebs. I just finished my uh, burger. Kevin's already done his fries and his burger. And my beer refilled itself magically. I'm about as full as full can get right now. But uh, we're on the way out. We're on the way out of Calgary. Uh, I'm gonna stop at Balzac, Alberta there and uh, check out the old Toys R there. And then we're gonna stop at the old Deer of Red and check out the Waltons there. gonna be good. Uh, make sure you take the right exit there, uh, hey Kevin. Which one? The Balzac one. Balls. Hey look, there's an airplane. And check out this Batman truck. Kevin says he's gonna buy it off the guy. See, 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 look, look. Oh! Oh! Check out this rib cage. Guess we gotta go through the mall entrance to get into uh, Toys R Us. There's a freaking dinosaur skeleton hanging from the roof. Look at the Triceratops. It's pretty cool. Never really worked out for us here. Ah, hey, it's Tim Hortons right there. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Timmy Hortons. Hey, oh, it's so cold. I need my sweater. It's way too cold out here, man. <sighs> Moving on from that to the Waltons and Red Deer. Ready to fall asleep. Boogie's burger and a couple beer skis. Beer skis. Beer skis? <laughs> Tired. Uh, about what will be uh, in Red Deer in about an hour. Then we're home. Want to go to the Lego store? I don't want to get aggressive with the uh, pick a brick wall. But the idea is, I'm talking with my eyes closed, you just can't see it because the shades. But the idea is, uh, 
I'm gonna operate a little brick leg store off the pick a brick wall. We have between 10 and 20 pieces in bulk, you know, like the dark 10 one by fours, the, the black one by twos, the black one by four tiles, uh, white one by fours, white one by twos, just some of the better pieces that I've seen there in the past little while. And operate a little uh, parts and pieces off Bricklink, but then I want to sell them to as close at, as close to pick a brick cost, like the cup cost, uh, as I can. Uh, I just think I think it'd be cool to offer uh, good parts and pieces from the pick a brick mall on Bricklink at reasonable prices. I think it'd be just pretty cool, a, a pretty cool service that we could start operating. Here off the channel in conjunction with my, my YouTube channel and my Bricklink store, I think it'd be a good little operation. Just a little bit of thought, thought talk with Brixie on the way to Red here. Look at this guy right here. I could look at him all day. <laughs> He's just chilling. I definitely just had like a half an hour power nap on the way here for sure. I think Kevin would look good on this thing right here. I have a great on that thing. Oh wow. 14 miles an hour. Yeah. We're just giving her. Got it. Oh yeah, that, that's the bike. You see what kind of uh, toys come in the kids' meals these days? Rubik's Cubes. Just at Walmart here. Got Sully. For Jose for Valentine's Day. And this newer, safer power bar. So we left at uh, 7 this morning and I just got home now at 6.50. So about a 12 hour day so far. Just gonna work on uh, editing all of this footage that I acquired throughout this tremendously fun day with Gavin. That was pretty awesome. I also filmed with my GoPro Hero 9. With just the media mod and the mic on there. I feel a little bit skeptical about it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Usually I use my wireless mic and the audio is mint. I hope it's good. We'll find out. Just uh, chipping away on editing these videos here and tomorrow's Valentine's Day, hey? Just another ordinary day in my opinion. Uh, yeah, what uh, what else happened? Well, I'll show you what happened here. Shazay and I have been in the process of acquiring a new kitchen table. This is the legs for said kitchen table. They went to install it today, and then they realized that they didn't make the table large enough to the specifications of our bench. So they have to remake some of the specific parts and pieces, and we'll be back on Thursday to install this table. So that's what Jose had to deal with today. Also, she got a new picture for up here above our uh, sliding door there. Yeah, it's pretty exciting that we're going to be getting a new table relatively soon. So that's what Jose was up to all day today. And Kevin and I went on this magnificent road trip. I hope you guys had fun with that there and enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. Found lots of great sets at the brick bin. Had a lot of fun with Kevin. We always have fun on our road trips and uh, our shopping excursions. I think that's what I'm going to call it a night. We're going to watch Star Trek. The one with Khan. And go from there. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on Beyond Brixie. As always, take care and have a great day.